there were people who said they would go to the abandoned North American continent on their own. They are the Puritans. As the Anglican Church emerged in England, the Puritans abandoned by the British government left England for freedom of religion. Why did they go to North America? They had nowhere to go. Central and South America were occupied by Spain and Portugal. In contrast, the North American continent, which was difficult to live in, was not occupied by anyone. They headed for North America. Puritans traveled 6,600 kilometers in a straight line from England to America. At this time, it was a very long distance to go by boat for two months. Many people died along the way. But when they arrived in North America, they couldn't get on land right away. Because the natives were guarding it. The Puritans secretly entered the land and watched their movements. Sometimes they stole and ate the corn that the natives had gathered for winter. They finally landed on the Plymouth coast in 1620. The Plymouth coast is where Massachusetts is now located. At this time, what was the nationality of the Puritans who arrived on the North American continent? They are British until now, there is no such thing as an American. Erase the American existence from your heads. The Puritans who entered the North American continent for the first time are called the Pilgrim Fathers in American history. Because there are many people in the United States who choose Protestantism as their religion, they use it politically. Politicians said, our American ancestors were pilgrims who were expelled from the fucking country of England and suffered hardships to North America to protect our religion. Will be. There is something not to be misunderstood in this part. It is foolish to explain American history while wrapping it up as if the pilgrim's father was the essence of the nation, the beginning, and the pilgrim's father. It absolutely doesn't matter, these people were just living in North America. Later, as Britain occupied the North American continent and expanded its influence, a nation called the United States began to arise, but it had nothing to do with the Puritans. In any case, the Puritans landed in North America on December 21, 1620. Since they arrived in winter, they started building a house to live in. While they were building a house, a native suddenly appeared. The Puritans feared that the natives would attack them. At this time, a native said, Hey, how are you? Said in English. Suddenly, an English-speaking native appeared. At this time, there was only one native who could speak English. He provided food for the Puritans and helped them. In fact, the Puritans were prepared for fear before going to North America, anticipating that the natives would attack them. In fact, the natives had a reason for doing this. A few years before the arrival of the Puritans, the British government sent troops to North America and kidnapped five Native Americans. At the time, Britain, which was a step behind in colonization, thought that there might be something on the North American continent, so it brought five natives to communicate with the natives and taught them English. The five natives who learned English were sent back to North America. One of them spoke English to the Puritans. The natives had seen the size of the British army and the cities of England, so they knew that it would be a big deal if you mess with the white people at the time. So he was very friendly to the Puritans and taught them how to farm and things that would be helpful to them and became very friendly. The Puritans also got along well with the natives by teaching them how to hunt with a gun instead of a bow. Thanksgiving is the day when the Puritans pray and celebrate the good farming for a year. This Thanksgiving is not all about simply giving, thanks for a year of farming. In fact, it is a day to celebrate with the natives, and it is meaningful to omit all of George Washington's killing and expelling the natives to the central and western regions and to dilute these things. From now on, Puritans and natives get along well, roast turkey together, and forget all this. Colonization begins in earnest by shooting and killing numerous natives of the British government. Where? It all starts in Jamestown. The British army initially shot and killed the natives and went into a frenzy. However, the natives also put up a great resistance to the British army with bows and spears. Upon hearing this news, the British government sends an enormous amount of troops to kill them all, and begins full-scale colonization of the North American continent. From now on, all you have to do is forget about all the good stories between the Puritans and the natives on Thanksgiving. If you like the video, please press the subscribe and like buttons thank you.